Hey guys, it's me Jello Pined and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing the Pure Boost Chinese New Year and the Pure Boost Go. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today guys and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you're new here please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and if matagal ka na rito maraming salamat for sticking with me. This is a continuation video to the review that I made for the Pure Boost Go. Ito siya. Uh, this is one of those videos where we do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Pure Boost 2018 and this is the Chinese Chinese New Year colorway. Yeah, so two different silhouettes, pares lang Pure Boost, which one is better? So let's start off with the uppers. Now, the uppers, the Pure Boost Go is more uh, stretchier and more uh, parang mas mas presko siya. Mas uh, it's more softer, it's more closer to prime knit than yung upper nito which is parang parang sako nga daw eh sabi ng tropa ko eh parang parang knit niya pang sako and it's not that stretchable either mainit nga rin sa paa now when when we go to the laces actually maporma ang laces nito apart from yung design niya which is Chinese New Year na mismo um digicamo parang medyo may pagka digicamo patterns pa rin yung laces nito unlike ito na it's just flat black laces pero ang maganda naman dito is, is parang stretchable siya eh. ako in my opinion parang stretchable siya now as well as let's talk about yung eyelets niya for for the lace loops although ito it's it's still the same it's nylon it's made of nylon as well same as this pero magkaiba lang sila ng pattern ito yung pattern ng lace loop na itong pure boost go and ito ang pattern ng pure boost chinese new year so kung lockdown ang pinag-uusapan i think mas merong lockdown to kesa dito this is more of yung parang athleisure purposes i think ito yung mas hardcore na pang running uh, I, I think pang running or pang, pang performance when you go to the sock liner um, pares lang silang padded which is good pagdating dito sa heel area mas matas yung 2018 na sa heel area versus dito ito medyo mababa ng konti eh. unlike ito covered talaga yung heel part mo which is yun yung advantage or yun yung mas nagustuhan ko dito sa Pure Boost na to. This no longer has yung parang TPU heel counter or heel cup dito na hindi ko talaga sure kung anong purpose ito. Baka, baka more of aesthetics lang talaga. Instead, ngayon replaced na siya with this parang uh, semi, parang 3D printed na design. Parang, for, parang sa 4D eh. Ayan, kung papakinggan nyo. Mezo matigas tigas naman siya. It also provides good support. This one, I don't know kung ano talaga, like para saan talaga siya. Probably just the design of the of the sneaker. Next is the insole. This one does not have an insole when you buy it. And this one now does have one. I got my true to size with this sneaker. Um, ito naman, is, this is a 10.5. Both are wide foot friendly. Both are wide foot friendly if you can see that. Ayan. Pero mas wide foot friendly to kaysa dito. Ito, kahit hindi siya ganun ka wide foot friendly, ang maganda dito dahil malambot or very elastic tong upper niya. So, okay pa rin naman siya. Hindi naman masikip. Alright, so yung tongue nito para sa iniki runners. Yung mga iniki na silhouette, if, if you've seen that. Or kung di ka pa nakita ng iniki na, na review, I'll link it up here para makita nyo yung review ko of an iniki runner or iniki boost. Ito naman yung tang nito is uh, a burrito tang which is sabi ko nga ito yung sa mga pinakaayo kong part ng sneaker na to. Kung lockdown ng reason nila ay it's it's uh, it's working pretty much. Yes. Ito naman dahil wala. Uh, medyo alam mo yun, yung medyo loose ka lang na manamit siguro. O yung medyo ano ka lang, yung comfy ka lang dito sa Chinese New Year or sa mga pure boost na ganito yung model. Meron sila to parang nakatupi na part ng knit. Ito naman yung 3D printed design niya or something. And wala siya nakatupi this time, so mas, mas comfortable siya. In my opinion, kesa dito. Siyempre, pag-usapan natin siya, which is more comfortable, which is more squishier for performance. Um, if you can see here, yan, side by side, ma, ano ba mas mataba na boost? Para mas mataba yung boost na ito. No? Tama. Mas mataba yung boost na ito kesa dito. Ito mukha lang mataba kasi because of the outsole, I think. But if you compare it side by side, mas makapal yun dito sa Pure Boost Go. So yeah, and then lastly, syempre, look at the outsole. Super wide foot friendly to. Ito, sakto lang. 
they both do not have continental but both are still web outsole. Ang difference nga lang ito, yung web outsole niya hanggang dito sa dito sa part na to meron sa sa midfoot area to diretso na lang siya, wala na. Uh, both sneakers are okay. They're good looking sneakers in my opinion. And syempre ako, I'm still I'm still keeping both. Pero syempre, some people likes this one better than this one. Some people likes this better than this one. So, iba-ibang opinions natin. So, at least nagkaroon tayo ng idea kung ano yung difference nitong dalawa. Let me know in the comment section down below which one do you have? Which one did you cop? Or which one would you drop? And if you're new here, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka na rito, thank you very much for sticking with me. Also, shout out sa sneakers bro for this uh, cool shirt. Got boost? Yes, we got boost, bro. And if you're interested uh, on these shirts, I'll, I'll link their details on the on the description down below. So anyways guys, maraming maraming salamat for checking on this video today. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace guys.